Welcome back. In this section, we will be working with deployment and uh, what does deployment include in our particular course. First of all, we will try to push the app which we have created in the web ID to our backend SAP gateway and also later on we will see how to put it in SAP cloud platform and host our application in SAP cloud platform. Now, in this section, we will be also trying to show you if you have a fresh development system spin in Google Cloud Platform, then what are the things which might be issue or you might encounter? Because initially a lot of time we would face challenges if the services or the respective services has not been up and running or has not been yet active in our NetWeaver gateway and our web ID will not be able to communicate to the backend NetWeaver gateway. So we will spend some time, not a lot of time, but some time. So you will be able to work through those challenges. If you're trying to set up your own system in GCP and trying to perform the same step. So we will do that as well. Then we will see how to utilize service in our application and also primarily focus on OData model when we work with O data service, O data based service, because in our gateway, the service are exposed as O data based service. O data is a protocol. So, based on this protocol, when we use our O data model, so the model can be of JSON model, can be XML model, but when we use O data model, then out of the box, a lot of functionality are exposed to us. And we will show you how you can use those functionality of CRUD operation, mostly something to read the data, which is the read operation, and also a way to pass the data to the backend for maybe create or update or delete. So by this, you are basically passing some information to the backend, saying that based on my information, create a record, or based on this new information, change the existing or update the existing record, or with this key, find the record and delete it. So this is mostly write operation. So we will do this with our OData model in our UI5 application. Then we will try to look into annotation because annotation are coming a lot in our new version of UI5 and also the new way of backend service creation. The older way of development, you might not see a lot of annotation. In older app, you might not find annotation in the service itself. But nowadays you will see the service containing a lot of annotation. We will understand what this annotation basically are and how we can utilize in our UI application. Also, if you have a service which is out of the box having annotation by just utilizing that service, how we can create UI5 application from the fly. So how to do that? So there will be two types of annotation, local and global annotation. So the global annotation comes with the service and the local one is what we basically add from the project level itself, from the UI project level itself. So you will see that as well. Now, once we have through with this, then you will also find two different sections. This section are already part of a different course, which we will be adding it here. So we don't want to really do the production again to repeat the same content. So in this particular section, you will find how you can create a full-fledged UI5 application and put it in your Fury launchpad. Now, if you're new in UI5 and you don't know what is Fury, so Fury is a pre-built application or are pre-built, a set of pre-built application which are delivered by SAP and Fury applications are made with UI5 as front-end and a BAP development in the back end. So these are pre-built applications which are delivered by SAP themselves and uh, they are called Fury. And we have a Fury Launchpad which act as a home page. And from the Fury Launchpad, you will find a lot of different tiles which are representation of different application. And as a user, I will click on a single tile to go to one application. For example, in your particular web browser, you might have multiple tabs open and different tabs might be having access to different applications. So that's similar to what we have in the Fury Launchpad. They are linked to application. And what we will do is 
we will create a new application in our web ID. The application will be created with UI5 and we will put the application in the Fury launch pad. So for users who are interested in knowing that they can also watch how can they put their application inside Fury launch pad. And finally, we are going to see Git. Now Git is a version management system. If you are working in a collaborative environment, for example, if there are 10 people in a team and uh, all of the people are working on a single project and uh, imagine these two people, one person one and person two, they're working on same file. They're working on the header, which they want to create some tiles and add some ratings to it. And they are both working on the UI component and they are working on their individual computers. And one person is in charge of making the rating stars, making those CSS, designing those. And the other person is working on the tiles, which contains those stars. So they will be having two different versions. So version one and version two might come in here. And um, because whenever they take the same source code and change it even a little bit, then the version changes of the entire source code because that's their personal version what they have. Now in those scenario, if they try to not sync with each other and update the same file, then the final project consistency might be hampered. So this is one example of what can go wrong if you're working in a collaborative development of a project and following the best practices of a version management system is required. So we will be also covering how Git can be integrated with SAP Web ID and um, you might have heard about GitHub. GitHub is a repository which is hosted globally in the internet or over internet, but you can also have local version of your Git. So if you're working on a project, then the private projects mostly will be working with or in the private project, mostly developers will be working with a local server which host or which run Git. You might be using the global GitHub and take their premium account or maybe the account where you can manage private hosting. But it can also be the case where you are using Git or a similar software can be Grid. So there are a lot of versions of Git which are available now in internet, but they all are version management solutions. And with GitHub, I will show you example how you can integrate with a web ID and do a collaborative development. Okay, so these are all the things which are going to be considered or will be covered in the deployment section of this particular UFF 2019 course. So let's get started with integration to our SAP gateway, putting our application or deploying our application to backend system. So let's get started with that in the next section.